Hello students, I am Kirti from Computer Science Department, GSIPU College, Mysore. So in the previous session, we have studied about the linked list representation of an array as well as the push and pop operation of the stack. In this session, we will write a program for push and pop operation of stack. So before that, let's revise what is a stack. A stack is a collection of items where insertion and deletion of items takes place at the same point called top at the same point called top insertion and deletion takes place at the same and called top of the stack top of the stack so this insertion operation inserting an element into the stack is called as pushing of an item it is nothing but pushing of an item and deletion of stack is called as popping of an item. Popping of an item from the stack. So if the top of the stack is minus 1 or null, then it is said to be in underflow state. It is said to be in underflow state or we can call it as the stack is empty. If the stack is completely em empty then it is called as underflow state and the condition is top is equal to minus 1. If the top is equal to n minus 1 then it is called as an overflow state. Then the stack is in overflow state. That is the stack is completely full. Then it is called as overflow state. So while inserting an item into the stack, we have to check for the overflow state of the stack. So if the top of the stack is n minus 1, that is if the stack is full, we cannot insert an item into the stack. So if it is not in this overflow state, then we can insert an item into the stack by incrementing the top of the stack. So top is equal to top plus 1 and we can insert an item into the stack that is to the top of the stack. To the top of the stack, we can insert an item. So this is about pushing an item into the stack. When it comes to popping of an item in from the stack, we have to check for an underflow state. So if it is not in the underflow state, we can remove an item from the stack. From the top of the stack, we can remove the items from the stack. If top is equal to minus 1, then it is in underflow state. If this condition is false, we can remove the top item of the stack. So after removing an item from the stack, the top gets decrement. Top is equal to top minus 1. So this is about the pop operation of stack. Now let's write a C++ program for pushing an item into the stack as well as popping of an item from the stack. So what is the first step? First step we have to include the required header files for our program. That is ash include iostream.h So this header file provides the basic services to our C++ program and it uses the objects like scene and cout to send data to and from from the standard input output devices. And the next header file is ash include conio.h 
which contains the basic functions required for our C++ program like clear screen and get ch. Next header file is ash include iomanip.h. So iomanip.h header file is used to manipulate the output on the output screen. So if I want to use setw function then I have to use this header file in our C++ program. Next header file is ash include process.h. So this header file is used used for function declaration as well as macros. Next, ash define directive is used to define a macro. So the word max in a macro definition is a macro expansion. So whenever the compiler executes the word max, it replaces it with the code 3. So there is no semicolon at the end of the macro. So I am creating a class called stack. So inside the class in the private section I am going to declare the required variables for our C++ program. So this private the first letter of private P should be in a small letter. Int s of max that is stack of size maximum and the variable called top. So in public section so p should be in small letter so I am going to use the default constructor called stack function default constructor stack is used to create an empty stack and the required functions like void push item push function the return type is void because this function is not going to return any value and next is pop function pop function is used to remove an item from the stack and void display function is used to display the items of the stack. So I am going to close this class using semicolon. Now I am defining the default constructor outside the class. So first have to write the class name followed by scope resolution operator then the default constructor that is stack function. So whenever I am creating an empty stack the top position is equal to minus 1. Next I am defining the function called push function. I am defining this function outside the class. So first I have to write the return type followed by the class name. What is the class name? The class name is stack followed by scope resolution operator then function name. What is the function name? Push item. So while pushing an item into the stack we have to check for the condition overflow that is if top is equal to max minus 1 then we have to print it as stack is full or we can print it as stack is overflow. So if the stack is overflow, we have to return from the execution of the program. That's why I'm using return statement here. So if it is not in a overflow state, then we can insert an item into the top of the stack. So that is by incrementing the top 
top is equal to top plus 1, we can insert an item to the top of the stack. Top of the stack is equal to item. C out. So using C out statement, we are displaying the required information on the display screen using this insertion operator. Insert it successfully. So this is about push function. I am closing this push function. Next is pop function. So I am defining the pop function outside the class. So first we have to mention the return type followed by the class name and scope resolution operator. So void, return type is void. What is the class name? The class name is stack, scope resolution operator. What is the function name? The function name is pop without arguments. So this function is referring to the class stack. So while popping an item from the stack, we have to check for the underflow state. Underflow state. So if the stack is empty, we cannot remove any item from the stack, right? So that's why we have to check for the condition. If top is equal to minus 1 or you can write top is equal to is equal to null. If top is equal to minus 1, then the stack is empty. If it is empty, we cannot remove any item from the stack. So we are returning from the condition. So if it is not in the empty state, then we can remove an item from the top of the stack. That is, we can remove an item from the top of the stack. Item is equal to S of top. We are removing an item from the top of the stack. So after removing an item from the top of the stack, the top gets decrement. Top is equal to top minus 1. See out. Item is pop. So I am closing this function. So next I have to display the contents of the stack. void the return type is void followed by stack name sorry class name followed by scope resolution operator then the function name what is the function name the function name is display so what is the condition if top does not equal to minus 1 then we can print the contents of the stack. Let us see out stack contains. Using for loop we can print the items of the stack. For i is equal to 0, i less than equal to top i 
plus plus. C of set W function is used to set the field width between the items. S of I. Else, if top is equal to minus 1, then I have to print it as stack is empty. Stack is empty. So, close this display function. Next, I have to create objects for the class called stack. In the main function, I am going to create objects for the class stack. So, how to create an object? First, we have to write the class name, then followed by object name. What is the class name? The class name is stack, followed by object name is S T. Then I am using clear screen function. Clear screen function is used to clear the previously generated output of the program on the console output screen. Now I am calling the functions using the object that is st dot display function. Then I am pushing item called 10 into the stack. Again I am pushing another item called 20 into the stack. Again I am calling display function to display the contents of the stack. I am using get ch function. It is usually used to hold until the user press any key on the keyboard. So, this is the C++ program for pushing an item into the stack as well as popping an item from the stack. So, when the display function call. So, first what we have done? We have created an empty stack. So, while calling this display function, first it will print it as the stack is empty as it does not contain any items in the stack. First it will print it as stack is empty. Then after inserting an item push 10. So in push function if I insert 10 so item 10 is inserted successfully. Then it will print it as 20 is inserted successfully. So again here we are calling display function to print the contents of the stack. So here it will display as Stack contains 10 and 20. 10 and 20. So, this is the output for this C program that is pushing an item as well as popping an item from the stack. Thank you.